Come True is a new nightmare sci-fi thriller from Anthony Scott Burns, who last brought us Our House on Netflix, and more notably was the mastermind behind the truly bone-rattling Father's Day sequence from the anthology Holidays. With Come True, Burns once again mixes what we know with the unknown with nightmarish results. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights, a part of the Kings of Horror Network. I'm M.L. Miller. While you might be watching this video on the Kings of Horror Network, I urge you to click over to my M.L. Miller Frights YouTube page and give it a like. Please share with all of your buddies. Click subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. Come True is new in theaters, on demand, and digital download from IFC Midnight. It's directed by Anthony Scott Burns and written by Anthony Scott Burns, from a story by Daniel Weisenberger. A runaway named Sarah, played by Julia Sarah Stone, struggles to find a safe place to sleep, and volunteers to be in an experimental sleep study that maps dreams as the dreamer experiences them. But the more Sarah participates in the study, the closer her dreams and nightmares shift to reality. I'm sorry, this is my own hang-up, and I can't help it. Every time I watch a movie that deals with dreams and nightmares, I can't help but feel it's a refurbished pitch for a new Nightmare on Elm Street flick. I know that might come off as an insult to the director, who really put a lot into the way this film is taken in visually, but it's also a compliment because this would have made for one hell of a scary way to bring Freddy Krueger back in a big way. The film deals with mapping one's dreams hooking oneself up to a computer so that it can receive brain waves, which then are able to broadcast pictures on the screen of the dreams the sleeper is experiencing. In the middle of all the dreams the test subjects are experiencing seems to live a shadow being with glowing eyes. Much like the excellent documentary The Nightmare, Come True utilizes the concept of the shadow people and sleep paralysis as the basis for much of its most terrifying moments. Since Wes Craven took inspiration from real sleep paralysis and iconic dream imagery while making A Nightmare on Elm Street, it would only make sense for the person who is finally assigned the ominous task of bringing the series back, which of course will inevitably happen, to take notes from The Nightmare and now come true to bring Freddy and his nightmares back again. But enough with my 80s slasher fanboygasms. Come True proved to be a visual masterpiece, incorporating common dream imagery with psychological concepts like the persona, the animus, the shadow, and the self, all of which are names for each chapter of the film. This isn't a ham-fisted dream demon story. Director Anthony Scott Burns has put a lot of forethought and study into making Come True look and feel as if you're traveling inside someone's subconscious. This one reminds me of a film from a few years ago called Vanishing Waves, which itself incorporated dream imagery with surreal sights and sounds to try to answer the riddles of the mind. In Come True, there are multiple scenes of the camera swimming through corridors, through hallways, past shadowy forms, bent and twisted to reflect mood, emotion, and mental state. These scenes are not the abstract paintings come to life as depicted in the cell, but what the images lack in color, they make up in symbolic meaning and psychological heft. This is a deep film that sinks you into its depths, slowly and methodically, while the pace does take a sleepwalker's stroll through the narrative, unfolding and revealing secrets at its own precise pace, every step is intriguingly set up. There is a meticulous way every scene is framed that reminded me of Kubrick utilizing the next-level futurism scene in some of Cronenberg's later films like Videodrome and Existence. If you take anything away from Come True, it's that this is a good-looking film from a director with an eye for bringing unpredictable and unnatural imagery to life. Julia Sarah Stone is a find. She's a tiny little thing, but her acting gives her the gravitas to knock down mountains. Her rebellious nature and old soul is written all over her face, and she's the perfect actress to bring this sad story of Sarah to life. This is a brave performance. Much like Micah Monroe did with It Follows, this is a breakout role for Stone, and I can't wait to see what she does next. While the horror is quite different, if you're looking for a tonal sibling to come true, It Follows is it. 
Both films seem to exist in the same world where parents are almost completely absent, the streets are bare, and the teenagers don't so much as experience joy, but momentary glimpses of happiness between the horrors. Even the music is similar as Drive's Electric Youth and Pilot Priest, which is the filmmaker's composer name, provide a hypnotic and electrifyingly retro synth score that lulls you in close before chilling your bones. If Come True has an Achilles heel, it's that the ending is going to be a divisive one. The last shot will cause some to whisper, aha, and some to exclaim, da fug? I'm torn with the ending, as I think much was projected all the way through the film, but then again, Come True strays from its own logic in places, offering glimpses of things that are outside of the narrator's purview. The final few moments of Come True are going to make or break this film for you, I guarantee, and either sour or enrich the entire experience. That said, Come True is a king's feast for the eyes and ears, containing a star-making performance from Julia Sarah Stone and bursting with intriguing concepts that will make your brain race and heart flutter. It's a gorgeous-looking film, and proof Anthony Scott Burns is a filmmaker worth keeping a close eye on. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on-the-nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. You're doomed to live the life you're meant to be Stuck inside your reality You're doomed Oh, you're doomed you're Yeah.